Hi, welcome back to another session of physics. Today we're going to go through three different questions that will help to illustrate how do we apply the concepts that we learned earlier. So are you ready? Question number one, a mass of two kilogram and you have a force that's pushing on it and there is frictional force that's opposing the motion. This frictional force is 8 newtons. So I'm going to write frictional force FF. The question goes, what will be the resulting motion of the box? Okay, all right, simple. First of all, you need to find what is the resultant force first. So resultant force will be equals to, this is F1, F1 minus your frictional force because they are going in opposing directions, that's why it's taking away. So it will be 10 minus 8, you will get 2 newtons. Then the next step, so resultant force is equals to MA, so this is 2 newtons, mass is 2 kilogram and A, A will be equal to 2 divided by 2, you will get 1 meter per second square. So the box will end up accelerating in this direction at 1 meter per second square, easy. Alright, second question, same mass, so now I have still 10 newtons pushing on it, there is frictional force that's acting on it, but we don't know how much it is, is it? that's the question. And they tell you that the box end up mo moving at a constant velocity of 4 meter per second. How do you find what is the frictional force? So this is a standard type of kind of trick question which is very easy to solve. So first of all, you have to figure out what is the resultant force. So in this case, the speed at the end is constant. If you have constant speed, it also means that the acceleration is actually zero, all right? So zero multiplied by anything will give you zero, okay? So if resultant force is zero, how much must frictional force be? So F1 minus your frictional force is equals to FR resultant, right? So F1 is 10 minus friction give you zero. So F friction must be equals to 10 Newton, all right? Simple, all right? So that's second type of question. Last question, now I change the quantity of the mass, is 200 grams now, okay? So same, we have 10 newtons, okay? And it is moving at a vol uh, acceleration of 4 meter per second square. They want to find out what is the, sorry, wrong direction. What is the frictional force that's acting on it, okay? All right, so same thing, find out what is the Resultant force first, MA. In this case, the trap, the booby trap is 200 grams. You need to convert it to kilogram. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 4, you get 0 0.8 newtons. Okay? F1 minus F friction is equals to 0 0.8. F1 is 10. This is the unknown. It's equals to 0 0.8. So F friction, bring this one over, bring this one over, you will get 9.2 Newtons. Voila. All right. Third question done. Okay. So three simple type of questions that they would like to ask you to test on your concepts. Okay. So I think you got it so far. So I'm going to throw in a bonus right now. Okay. So now if we have two boxes, both is 200 kilogram. 200 kilogram. Both of them are sitting on similar surface, similar surface type. Okay, the difference is that this box has a contact area of let's say 100 meter square, whereas this box only have a contact area of 50 meter square. All right, and the question is, if you are to push the box, which scenario A or B will you encounter greater friction? Same mass, same surface type. The difference is that the amount of area on the ground that is in contact. What will be your answer? Yes, you are right. Both of them, F friction A and F friction B, they are actually the same, okay? Because friction is dependable on mass and surface type. It is not dependable on surface contact area. So this is another type of booby trap that they will set for you. So it doesn't matter how much 
they are how much of the surface contact it has. All, right? all it matters is, is it the same surface type? If it's the same surface type, the frictional force they will experience, the, the different masses will experience when, it's, when there's motion is going to be the same. Okay? So I hope you get this. Let me just separate this. All right? And I see you in the next video.